I'm going to reveal him to you as soon as I can find him. Where are you? Henry? Henry, stop hiding. He's really shy. That's one thing um, you'll learn about him. He's shy about the way he looks. Um, is that him? No, that's my bag. Henry? That bag's here. No. Come on, Henry, where are you? Henry, he's not under the pool table. Come on, Henry. Henry, where are you? The hell? There you are. Hey, why are you shy? Why are you always shy? Get out of that corner. Your fans want to meet you. Come on, turn around. Come on. Come on. Come on, look up. Your fans want to meet you. Look up. Come on, look up. There's that pretty face. So this is Henry the robot. Doesn't he look cool? Henry, say hi. Say hi. <laughs> so this is Henry the robot. Come on. Come on, Henry. Follow me. Come on. Follow me. You can do it. Let's go. Your fans are waiting. Let's go. Come on. Faster, faster. Come on. Faster. All right, Henry. So I'm going to ask you to turn around, all right? No, not like that. A little slower, a little slower. I want to explain what um, all your parts mean and what you're made out of and everything. So just turn around slowly, all right? Out of the factory, Henry is a self-balancing robot, with a net weight of 22.9 kilograms and a maximum speed of 2 meters per second. Composed of a powerful carbon fiber body, Henry the robot can lift up to 80 kilograms of overhead cargo and can pull the equivalent weight. Battery life will last approximately 40 minutes in fast speed mode and 4 hours in slow speed mode. He is conveniently programmed by Raspberry Pi 4 to allow custom programming and add-ons. Henry the robot is powered by six quiet self-balancing terrain adaptive motors. He can also sway side to side, shuffle, and jump as high as 8 centimeters. Finally, Henry the robot is equipped with a rear emergency stop button, in case he one day decides to take over the world. So there's a few things he could do. Right now he's in standing position. He could also crouch down, all the way, like that. So when he crouches down, he's very silent. So he can move kind of like an RC car, but his body is raised off the ground. He could also go all the way flat on the ground. So right now he has all six wheels on the ground. So as you could see, he has two wheels in the front, right here, hold on, I'll let him stand. Henry, stand up, yeah. So he has two wheels in the front and two wheels in the back, you can see them? the small wheels, those wheels make sure that he doesn't get damaged when he goes on the ground in RC car mode, like this. So in RC car mode, he can move like an RC car. Right now he's in slow speed. I'll show you the difference between slow speed and fast speed in just a bit. So right now he moves like an RC car. So he can turn around like this on his, uh, like basically he turns around. <laughs> like this. All right, so then he stands up. Henry, stand up. Yeah, look up. There you go. Okay, there's a few things he could do. He could sway from side to side, just like that. All right, just like that. He could also jump. All right, let me just do the jump. Just like that. Look up. Do one more jump, Henry. One more. One more. Come on. There you go. He jumps about eight inches, I believe. I'm not sure. No, it's actually a little bit less than that. I have to check the manual, but it's pretty cool, his jump. 
See, just like that. It's kind of cool making him jump. He could also do a little move. It's kind of like, uh, it's kind of like skating. It's like that. It's also like dancing. All right, it's like that. As you can see, yes, Henry has a lot of moves that he could do. He could also do that move when he's down low. You see, if he's down here, and let's say I want him to sneak up on someone. Look, he could sneak up on someone. Just like that, look at that. <laughs> Henry, the little sneak. There you go. All right, Henry, stand up. So yeah, he could also, if I bring him back and I put him in skating mode, he could skate and move forward. As you see, it's kind of like he's skating or walking. Come on, Henry, come over here. Yeah. He's very um, responsive. It's like when I want him to stop, he stops and stuff like that. He can move just like a few centimeters or even millimeters. Like I can really control him really well. Um, let me show you what else we could do. So he has two speeds actually. He has regular speed, which I'll show you while he's turning. So regular speed looks like this. It's like a slow turn. Then fast speed is like this. Like this. Wait, hold on. There you go. That's fast speed. It doesn't look fast, but it's really fast. <laughs> All right, so I prefer to leave him on regular speed when he's indoors, fast speed when he's outdoors. So this emergency button right here is designed so that if Henry decides to take over the world because he's AI, um, I could shut him off. You know what I mean? He doesn't like that. He doesn't like being shut off. <laughs> you can tell. So this is his um, shut off button right here. Um, right below it, it's his battery life. When it's green, as you can see, it's one quarter. Um, the battery life is like one quarter lower. When it's low battery life, it's gonna turn red and the red will be just a little bit right here. Basically, he doesn't look like this right out of the box. Like he needs some customization. Like I put a lot of work into him in order to make him look like this because when he first comes out of the box he looks nothing like this like he has no eyes no nothing he wasn't even designed to look like this i'm the one who made him look like this because i wanted him to represent henry um the way i feel like henry should look so yeah and also um maybe henry could help me with that henry can you show me where the box is that you go in you know your little home when i carry you because you're really heavy. Yeah, show me where it is. Where is it? You don't know where it is? Come on, where is it? Yeah, that's it, that's it, there you go. There it is. So that's Henry's box. As you can see, it's um, well padded. It's well padded right here, here, and here. And these are meant to keep Henry in place when he's inside the box. He doesn't even move. There's also this box right here. I'll show you what it has inside. So it's a little snug. There you go. I'll put it right on the table. And I'll show you what's inside. So right here you have the charger. This is a charging brick, it charges very fast. Under two hours, it's fully charged. Um, and it lasts, the robot, I believe it lasts, well, Henry, it lasts about four hours on slow speed, about 45 minutes on, on high speed. You got right here, some nuts and bolts and some tools. I had to use some of these because I lost some while I was customizing Henry. And I found 
the parts that I needed in order for me to replace them. So there's a little stand here, right here, and it goes like that, just like that. So this is if you want to put on your desk or something like that. Then there's the charging uh, plug, just like this, and that I'll show you um, when I show you the remote that Henry uses, because um, there's a lot to go through when it comes to the remote, because the remote is not like... Um, a regular RC remote, it's much better. It's easier to handle. And I'll show you that in the next video of how the remote looks like. So I'll close this. I'll put it back. Hey Henry, you're not getting bored? I know you wanna go outside, you're bored in here. It's a game room, there's a lot to do, you know? So yeah, so this is Henry the RC car and what? Well, I keep saying that. This is Henry the Robot. Sorry. Yeah, Henry the Robot. And I'll be making videos with Henry this summer and this, this uh, fall and throughout the winter I'll be making videos with Henry and I won't abandon this channel like I've done before. I didn't customize Henry this much to abandon him. And yeah, so I hope you're happy with the way Henry looks. Because I think he's happy. He likes his little name tag right here. So yeah, it took a lot of work. But I believe he looks perfect the way he is. He also has a cool feature. Let me mention it. Um, if he falls to the ground, let's say someone pushes him and he falls, he could get up on his own. I don't want to make him fall now because he'll get upset at me. But basically, if he falls down to the floor, he gets up on his own. I'll show a footage of that, um, I believe. I'll, I'll put it in the corner right now, and I'll show you what it looks like when he falls down. It's pretty cool. He gets back up on his own. That's something Henry the RC car was never able to do. When people would flip him over or hold him down, basically, um, he could um, get back up on his own. And he's really heavy, so no one could grab him and run. He's very heavy. Like, I can't pick him up with one arm. You have to pick him up with two arms because he's really heavy to pick up and if he hits you he could easily break a leg or an ankle very dangerous <laughs> that's right you're dangerous henry you're a rebel also one cool thing let's say he's in place right now i'm not touching the controller if i push him he comes back to the exact same spot all the time he has a good memory he always comes back to the same spot basically you can't push Henry around anymore. He fights back. All right. I'll see you at the next video. Bye. I forgot to mention the all purchase links are in the description. So you'd get a robot similar to this. Obviously you won't look exactly like Henry, but he looks like this. He has the same legs, same body, everything. He's just, if you want him to look close to this, you have to customize him yourself. It takes time, but it's well worth it. Um, this is not a toy. I guess a teenager could drive it, but um, he's, he's really strong. He could be dangerous in the wrong hands, but um, he's really strong and heavy. So he's well built. That's why it's very high quality. The company does a really good job. It's, it's really amazing. It surpassed my expectations. I didn't think he would be this good quality. Like even his body is all carbon fiber. It's hard to tell, but it's all carbon fiber. It's very like powerful robot very well built the box it comes in like this comes with everything you need there's a battery inside it's hard to see it but it's completely inside and protected and uh, the company is called direct drive tech so check the description and the robot is normally called diablo obviously i have to change the name to henry so that it represents the channel and i think he prefers that name right you prefer that name henry yeah, I knew you'd prefer it. All right. What was that, by the way? There, that's better. There you go. All right. So, um, yeah. So, check the links in the description. And if you want to buy it, buy it. You won't regret the purchase.